Something's close. I just don't get the whole uh, plane thing. You fucking lunatic. Uh.
please answer. I've got a situation. Please. Not sure I want to waste my time. Yeah, I, I got spooked the other day. The crash rattled me. I'm sorry. It's just... I don't know who to trust. There's not many decent options out there, but... I'm getting desperate, so, um, I... I need to take a chance. Uh, on you. What, what do you think? Can, uh... Can you help me out? Please? You've got my attention. I've been hearing things from the tower radio chatter. They found something, and I need it. Bad. Problem is, I have no way to get my hands on it without help. Without you. Now, I'm willing to give up what I know about the reserve. In exchange. Does that sound fair? What do you need? A pump flow regulator. A tower patrol founded by Memorial Lane in the Garden District. Well, it's just another useless piece of junk to them. The problem is, there's a potential showdown brewing over there between the patrol and a reclaimed camp. It could get bloody. Quickly. What else? I like to be fully informed before putting my ass on the line. Fair enough. What do you want to know? Why are they fighting? Uh, you know, resources, territory, two opposed ways of thinking, butting heads. I mean, from everything I've been hearing on the radio the last couple of months, the bad blood just keeps getting worse. Look, I'm staying out of it, but I, I can feed you more details if you want. What's your take on all this? If the fighting keeps up, this city's gonna explode into an all-out war. The tower maintains some sort of order, right? I mean, they, they offer some sort of semblance of safety, sure, but they don't hesitate to toss people out if they question authority. Once the tower kicks your ass out, there's no return. It seems cruel, but well, I don't know. Maybe that's the way it has to be. The reclaimed are eccentric. Well, let's put it that way. But JB really knows how to motivate, uh, get, get people to buy into his vision. Maybe they're crazy, maybe they're onto something, I, I don't know, who knows. They are inspired, though, always going on about the liberation to live, not just blindly following orders to barely survive. I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe they're both a bit fucked in the head. Who's running the show for each faction? Mama leads the tower. She founded the community. I don't know much else about her, she stays out of sight. Her right hand, her enforcer, is Georgia. She's out there on the front lines daily, and from what I hear, she's a hard ass. Not afraid to mix it up, get her hands dirty, you know? The reclaimed rally around this guy named JB, and no clue what it stands for. He's always proselytizing over the airwaves, uh, frequency 54, denouncing the tower, saying they're already dead. I mean, it freaks me out a bit, but there's no denying he has charisma. I've heard enough info on the conflict. Okay, uh, sorry. I know I can ramble sometimes. I'm ready to do this. The pump regulator is a piece of industrial equipment about the size of a coffee maker. Uh, pipes, switches, knobs, you'll know it when you see it. Now, the Tower Patrol has it at their camp, Red House on Memorial Lane. And remember, reclaimed are nearby, so you might get caught in the middle of a scrap between them. Now, once you have it in hand, Hustle back to the radio and contact me. Time is not on my side. If you pull this off, I'll spill everything I know about the reserve. You have my word. I know Omri is dead, and I know that for the time being you stepped into his shoes, whoever you are. I am not in the habit of trusting people these days. Trust gets you dead when it's given to the wrong person, and there is a lot of wrong out there. 
But I am willing to set prejudice aside for a few moments so we can have a little chat. See if we can work together. I'm assuming you scored a few useful things out of that last tower cache. Well, there's more where that came from. As long as nothing happens to me. Understood? Get yourself to the churchyard. I will unlock the gate so you can reach the area. Stay out in the open. If I am satisfied, you are alone. You will see me. Don't get used to meeting like this. It's a rarity. I understand. It's almost impossible to know who to trust. All right, then we're on the same page. Look at yeah. All right, keep going. Back to it. All right, then we're on the same page. I'll get to the point. Why are you helping me? Henri trusted you. So that's good enough for me. Were you two friends? I guess you could say we were new friends, sure. I saved his ass from a slew of walkers in the bayou. And I liked talking to the guy. He had a way about him. He sure did. My daughter was fond of him. Loved the way he could spin a tail. Well, may he rest in peace. You got some curmudgeonly shoes to fill. I'll point you to tower caches with useful supplies and you get me the intel they contain. Sound like a deal? Maybe. But I have a question first. The tower seems to be after you and your daughter hardcore. What's that all about? You spotted those posters, huh? You wanna go there? All right, I'll give you the basics. I used to be with the tower. Now I'm not. We don't see eye to eye. I'm in the right, they are in the wrong. That's all I got for you now. Yeah. I'm on board. Good. Glad that's settled. Take this drawing. There's some intel at the location in the drawing. When you have it, leave it for me at the usual spot. Consider it done.
No one gets inside. Strict orders. If you have a problem with that, see Jeff. He's around the corner. No one gets inside. Strict orders. If you have a problem with that, see Jeff. He's around the corner. Anthony, how could he be so dense? He should have known better. You got nerve rolling in here uninvited. Don't mean to intrude. We don't need strays poking around right now. We have enough problems to deal with. Maybe I'm the solution. You know what? Yeah, you might prove useful. My brother is in some deep shit. Pack of reclaimed scum snatched him. Anthony's a good kid. Bit dim, but he doesn't deserve whatever those freaks have in store. We can't get anywhere near where they're holed up. Light blue house across the way. They'll gut him immediately if they see us coming. But you? They don't know you. You'll be able to stroll right in. After that, whatever you need to do, that's your business. Personally, I'd put a few bullets through their skulls. Let the dirt reclaim them. I'd like to know what I'm up against ahead of time. What are their numbers exactly? We've seen as many as four on the second floor. But you never know. They multiply like rats. Sounds like I can be of service. Get to it then. Knowing how those savages operate, he might not have much time before they execute him. What was he thinking? These are people who have chosen to be savages, not rational people, not people who understand and appreciate what the tower has accomplished. Who the hell are you? The negotiator? 
A big tough Jeff, too chicken shit to show his face and beg for his little brother's life. Not sure I really see the point. Looks like I just walked in on something that's none of my business. I smell bullshit. It's unwise to wonder where you don't belong and you don't strike me as a fool. But hey, I'm willing to play along. We could use some entertainment around here. We are about to execute this filth. Wanna know why? Enlighten me. This subhuman shit is a murderer. My daughter is dead. The tower is at fault, and he is at fault. The tower preaches community, and yet they toss out those most in need because they are no longer useful, because they are a burden. Violet was not a burden. She was a human being, but this fucker treated her like trash. He could have disobeyed orders, but he did not. He forced her out, left her to die. She was 11 years old. Where is your head at, stranger? Exterminate this tower fuck right now, and we won't have a problem. Then we can pay the rest of the vermin a visit. And once they are a pile of corpses, whatever is in their camp, it's yours. Consider it a gift from the reclaimed. He doesn't have to die. You can be merciful. Where was the mercy for Violet, huh? You're fucked in the head, just like the rest of them. Get out of my face before I tear yours off. I am sorry. Please. I am sorry. Please. What's with the hesitation? You got a death wish. I am Lose sorry. The weapon. Please. I am sorry. Please! What's with the hesitation? Quit thinking! And I am do sorry! The fucking deed. Please! I am sorry! I am sorry! Please! I am sorry! Please! I'm sorry. Please. I was skeptical, but you pulled it off. I didn't think I was ever gonna see my little bro again. You have my thanks. Anything you can scrounge up in that house is yours, as promised. No hassle from us. You did a good thing today. You've given me a second chance. Thank you. I promise to make the most of it. 
Walker inside. Walker, finish it. Quick, fuck you, corpse. Out for a stroll? Scanning the area. Shit, someone's close. Who's sneaking around? Scanning the area. Hey, big brother. There's not much to say beyond I'm sorry, but I have to do this. What was that? I can't sleep. I can't eat. I'm a wreck. Jeff. Who's sneaking around? I keep seeing that little girl's face. These visions of her turning. This whole mess is fucking with my head. What was that? What did the Martins do to deserve being exiled? It makes no sense. Who's sneaking around? They are good people. Now, I know this might put you in a tough spot. Please forgive me, but I need to make things right. At least give them a slim chance to survive out there. I swiped some supplies from our camp, so you know who to blame. Don't want any other innocent people taking heat. I'm going out to find the Martins and deliver the stuff. Least I can do. I pray it'll help me get my head straight. If I'm not back before the bells, wish me luck. Your little bro, Anthony.
What was that? There, Casey? Come in. Yeah, yeah, I I'm here. Wow, <laughs> you're back. Did you get it? Had to deal with some shit. But I got what you needed. I delivered. Now it's... This is great! Finally, some progress. It's a relief. Okay, uh, let me find the manual for that thing and we can get it calibrated. You're stalling, Casey. I want to hear what you got on the reserve. I'm not doing anything until you hold up your end. We clear? Yeah, yes. All clear. Okay. The reserve is real. But you already knew that, right? What you don't know is that I am in it. It's an old military bunker built in the 50s or 60s. Right after the flood, the National Guard used it as a staging area to distribute disaster relief supplies. But once the dead started walking and things really went to shit, I had no choice but to get inside and hunker down. I thought I was safe for a little while, but now I'm fucked. The flood water up top was too much for the reserve's pump system. It, it malfunctioned, and now the whole place is on lockdown. I'm stuck in the comm room. I I'm running out of time. I need to get out of here, soon. God, I can't wait to see the sky again. I've been working with someone named May. She claims to have a key to the reserve. You know anything about this? If your May is May Benoit, then yeah, yeah, I've heard of her. Tower is always tossing her name around on the airwaves. They're really after her ass. Consider her a major threat. I don't know anything about a key to the reserve, though. I'll do some research. If I discover anything, I I'll let you know. Rumors are all over the place. What exactly is inside the reserve? Most of the rumors are true. Food, meds, tons of it. I mean, the entire hall was meant to help tens of thousands of people in the area after the flood. And there's a bunch of guns, ammo, and gear for the troops that were meant to distribute it. All military-grade, perfect condition. Problem is, I can't get to any of it. The whole bunker is locked down because of the floodwaters. What's the rush to get out of there? Starvation, for one. I might have a couple weeks left of scraps down here. But none of that is gonna matter if the flood water sitting on top of this place breaks through. The comm room is filling up slowly right now, but it's only a matter of time before the ceiling collapses. Starvation, crushed or drowned. Pick your poison, right? If you get crushed, at least it would be quick, right? Yeah. Well, with your help, I'm hoping to avoid all of it. Fuck, I'd rather take my chances on the surface with a hundred walkers coming at me. At least I'd have a fighting chance. Look, tourist! 
I'm not asking you to do this out of the kindness of your heart. I mean, there's clearly something in it for you, big time. If the pumps get repaired, not only will I get out, but the supply rooms will all open up. All those disaster relief supplies, untouched. Not to mention enough weaponry and gear to arm multiple platoons. All for you to do with as you please. And for me? A fresh start and some fresh fucking air. You haven't been up front with me so far. Why should I trust you? Because my life is in your hands. I can't get out of this hole without your help. And look, hey, I get it. I could totally be full of shit. But one thing I know, no one else can offer you what I can. Without me, the reserve is gonna remain buried. Forever. If you want the reserve, you're gonna have to work with me. It's a chance you have to take. I'm willing to take the risk. Oh, fantastic. You won't regret it. But it. It's been a long night, but I'm too wired to sleep. I'm gonna turn this place upside down until I find the manual. You should get some rest, though. I'll contact you in the morning. Good night, tourist. Ah. <sighs> 